Welcome everyone to AFTV and the Superfan Debate is back because it's our second North London derby of the season. Listen, let's not waste any time. Let's get straight into it because it's all been happening off camera as well. So let's do it. Let's welcome, you know what, let's welcome the home team first. It's Fuad. Welcome Fuad. Welcome Toby. And welcome Abby. Check me for and the so rattled when he even clapped for me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not rattled by nobody. That's for sure. Nobody rattles me. As I said, it has started. <laughs> Welcome, Robbie. Mm. Welcome, Ty. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. And welcome, Lee. <laughs> so you didn't yeah. We didn't yeah. 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 like. What are you booing for? We yeah. clapped you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What are you doing for? Game's the game, brother. Yeah, yeah. I wonder your no buddies. I wonder your no buddies. That might be the kind of hostile atmosphere. We're going to have to yeah, yeah, get used to it. Yeah, we will have to face that, yeah. We won the league there, so you can't be more hostile than that. You know, see, they're both, they're dressed in black. You lot should buck, Ash, what do you not call it? Ashburton Army, the guys who... Listen, Ashburton Army, that's right. They're going to roll a thousand dudes in the game. Let's start wearing a shirt that's fixed. You ain't intimidating me with your extra small one on that. This is a lot. What's the name of the team? This is right. Listen, listen. Even when we wear white, we're better than you lot as well. <laughs> that we saw the other night, right? So we rock it better than you lot. Okay. Let's get into the debate. We're keeping this one very, very simple. Who's winning the North London derby now? We know Arsenal go into it on hot form. Okay, drew against Newcastle, but Fantastic. what season they've been having domestically? And okay, they've done the job in, in the Europa League. Tottenham, though, not maybe the season they were hoping for, but. The North London derby, it tends to favour the home team. When we went there last season, went in decent form, it's a bad day for us. So I'm, I'm interested to see how the Tottenham fans are feeling about it. Is there the confidence that perhaps, you know, just hasn't taken a knock from some of the previous years? We'll explore all that, but of course, let's go into it with you guys first. You can also take away, Abby, your thoughts, your feelings. <laughs> um, my thoughts on it. I would expect Tottenham to win being at home, however, I would be very happy with a draw. For me, the most important thing is just stunning the, the run you're on. And obviously, if we can get a win out of that, that would be brilliant. Uh, but I would absolutely take a draw. I think that, that form completely goes out the window in a derby. I've always said that. So there's been many times where we've come into it in form and you beat us and vice versa. Um, I, I think the only thing is it really depends <coughs> kind of what we're looking at in terms of our squad selection. I don't really know what's going on injury-wise, if Benson calls back, if Kulosevsky's fit. Mm. Um, I believe there's still no Richarlison, so it does leave us a little bit light. <coughs> the, the win over Palace last week, although it was 4-0, I'd say it was a very flattering scoreline. Uh, that first half, I think we were there for the taking, and maybe if Palace had, I don't know, been a, just a little bit more clinical, they, they could have actually turned that game. But again, a win's a win. It's important for the confidence and kind of the run we were on. Um, I don't know. I, I'm going to back us, but I, I would very happily settle for a draw. OK. Toby, you're not settling for a draw, are you? No, man, I need three points. Um, doesn't mean we're going to get it, but I'm not going to be happy with a point. Um, I need three. Uh, when you look at our performances this season against some of the top sides, we've not performed, right? Um, it's about time we finally roll our sleeves up and actually start playing like the club that we thought um, we were going to be against sides basically around us. Um, it was only six or seven months ago that we hammered Arsenal 3-0 at home to put ourselves above, well, eventually put ourselves above Arsenal and get into, to get Champions League football. But since then, since the, probably since the, the last derby mm. where we lost 2-1, it's gone from like bad to worse for Spurs. The performances weren't convincing to begin with, but we were at least still unbeaten. Still two points behind you now, there's a chasm between Arsenal and Spurs in terms of the playing style, in terms of the points on the board, um, and in terms of the, the mood around the camp. So for me, I need us to start this year right um, and get a positive result at home. It's, it's about time. It's yeah. about time. Yeah. Um, what is it about those big games? I'm usually quite confident. Um, at home, I think this is probably the first one that, where I'll probably say I'm not, and I think it's what Tove touched on there. It's where the kind of two clubs have gone over the last six months. You kind of feel like Arsenal have taken steps in the right direction. Where we thought because we snuck Champions League last year, because mm -hmm. we've got the big world class manager open by the we thought we'd be the club to take that next step. So for me, this is kind of one of those really and truly, I want to see Spurs players really play with something to play for because this is a chance where Arsenal. They've previously won this 
a title in our ground. So for them to now all of a sudden twice get back. But to for them to get back there while getting a scout <coughs> is every Tottenham fan's worst nightmare. So for me, I think what Abby said there, I'll take a draw. But this is the kind of game where we have to go for a win. It's not going for the draw. So what are the predictions? You know what we take? What what are the predictions then? It's, like Abby said, it's it's, def- it's very much dependent on on which players are available. Mm. Yeah. But mm. That being said, I'm I'm done sitting on the fence. You know what, effort man, we're at home. I'm gonna go for a two-one win display. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. yeah. I'm yeah. Going for two-one wins. Two-one. Uh, two, I would go with a two-two because we do have to be two 0 down before we start playing. Well again. <laughs> 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 no, they are back in their team. Two games in 2023. <laughs> <laughs> they are back in the team, but not the. Confidence that we Quiet, get to when we're yeah. traveling to their ground. Nah. Quiet, man. Toby, I've never seen Toby in particular. This quiet, man. It's not full hat. So not, quiet. You, because Robbie knew. I've seen Abby humble. I've seen Abby humble. I've never seen you like this, Bro, man. man. Do you know what it's it is? Beautiful. It's beautiful. Spurs will humble you, man. Hundred percent. Moving silence and that. Yeah. But this is Robbie. This is a little. I'm taken aback a bit. But it's still like Abby said. Form does go out the window in these games. You know what I mean? Um, on paper, you say Arsenal can go there and win that game. I think last year, yeah, we were talking about it a bit off air before. Last year we went there, we, we did have a lot of changes to our team. You know what I mean? Um, I think Cedric was playing um, because of injury. Rob Holding was in. Remember, he got sent off very stupidly. But Rob Holding started. Who else? There was Tommy no... Left El Nenny was in there. Yeah. Tommy Asso had to fill in at left back. We had a lot yeah. of changes in that game. I think mm. a lot of people don't realise that. Mm. Whereas this week, Touchwood, we should be touch going wood. there. Apart from Gabriel yeah, Jesus, yeah, yeah. it's almost a full team. So I'll be really interested to see how we get on because how we've been playing this season away from home. We're on the front foot. And I think, you know, the interesting thing for me in this game is that they start games so slowly... This is what I've seen of them this season, although I get the feeling they might not be as bad. This is a derby, and I don't think their fans will allow them to. And we start games so quickly, away from home. You know, if you're not on us, if you're not, you know, we can blow you away very early, which is what we did to Brighton. So I I, I think that that's going to be interesting. What are they going to do earlier on in the game? Because that's where form goes out the window. I just don't think their fans are going to allow them to start slowly, but... The dream that I'm dreaming is that <laughs> it's at half time, the stands, you know, the ground's half empty. <laughs> because, you know I mean, <laughs> they're about 3 0 down, and then I'm thinking there's no way of coming back, you know. But I don't, you know, listen, it's a North London derby, right? It's a bit scary that they're being so quiet because I still think that underneath that, they think to themselves, <laughs> yeah, but they're coming to our place and they've got a shocking record there. And that's the other thing. This it's year, this year we've turned around a lot of them things. You go to Brighton, yeah, a lot of people, yeah, every time they go to Brighton, they get, we, we blew them away. Normally, everywhere we normally go to, and every sort of little hoodoo thing, we've gone there and we've done well. Look what we went, remember we went to Brentford? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? So, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Time? Confidence. Yes, James. I mean, uh, let me ask you this. Is there, because I know you're a very positive Arsenal fan. Always. Is there any, I can't wait. Is I can't wait. Fear, I wish we were playing now. I can't what, wait. Well, I know. But is there any doubt? Is there any fear? Is there any... Fear, no. None no. at all? Fear, no. Doubt, no. Apprehension, yes, because you never know what's going to happen. But, but I've got to play the neutral here, right? Mm-hmm. We have gone and lost there a lot. We have, but we won the league now. Uh, to me, that eclipses That's a long time ago. Now, I don't care if it's two million years ago. It eclipses everything. If you can win yeah. the league there and concede two goals and have their fans celebrating thinking they've stopped us, and then a few seconds later, realised that we won the league. Funny enough, you say that, even that game we didn't win. Yeah, cool, we should have yeah. won, we should have won about five I know, goals. we should have won, but we, we didn't. Took off and we took that's, that is just, that sums up the North London derby at their place. Even that game, we're on top, I remember right at the end we give away that stupid penalty. Yeah, it I, I, been I, I, it's, it's tough. We about, we it's a very won about, tough place to go to for us. It's a tough us. place to go to, but if you want to win the league... It's not going to be, win. it's not going to be Villa, is it? Like when Villa went there the other day, their fans will, I just don't think their fans will allow them to play that badly. Is that going to be a part, of, sorry Lee, we'll, we'll come to you, hi Lee. Is that like an element of it that against a Villa, there is an expectation to dominate possession, there is an expectation to take the game to Villa, and then they can kind of go a little bit more punch for punch with Arsenal. Maybe 
I'm not saying fans will be accepting of it, but maybe they'd be understanding of the way Arsenal are playing, that they're just going to soak up a bit more pressure, get into a shape, see what you can do on the counter. Am I being, am I being too simple in my thinking about the game? I think any time we play top six sides, yeah. that's kind of been our formula. And I think right. you look at it against City previously, it's worked. I think even under different managers, I think Spurs fans have almost become used to it, having Jose, Nuno and now Conte, who are all kind of playing counter-attacking systems, if you like. I think... As much as it is a counter-attacking system, as you said, it does kind of play into Conte's hands in that aspect. But the big issue that I think we have with that is a lot of that system relies on the wing-backs. Mm -hmm. And that's probably our weakest area in our team. When you've got the likes of Emerson, Doherty, Sessegnon, guys who aren't fit to play for, in my opinion, top 10 clubs. Yeah. But they're here starting week in, week out. Preach. And we're about to go into a North London derby with them as their primary weapons in our system. So that's kind of where it's a little bit of a catch-22 yeah, we'll probably play to that, but how well we do it varies on a game-to-game -game basis. Lee, you've been to a lot of North London derbies. Yeah, yeah. Is this the most confident you've felt for a while? <clears throat> well, I, yeah, because I'll tell you why. Because it's the, the first time in a very, very long while, and I mean this sincerely, that we are going there with a better team. We're a better team. Over the last few years, you know, Tottenham have been a better team. <coughs> um, and so, listen, and put that with, with it being at home, there's a massive advantage. I always say that, you know, the home advantage is massive. Now, listen, Arsenal have gone there. I've gone there with Arsenal with much better teams than this one. Much better teams. I remember Robert Perez scoring a goal with about... We dominated the game. 80 minutes he scores and then Tottenham sneak one right at the end, 1-1. One, one. Yeah, but you remember what happened, didn't you? Richard threw into his own net. Well, it don't matter. It, it, it was a 1-1. One, one. <laughs> That's why, right. it was a mistake. One. Yeah, yeah, but this it's is a mistake. the thing. So we've never... Lose. We've never... We, we, didn't that season. we didn't lose. But what I'm saying is... We've never gone there and consistently won, won, won because it's never an easy place to go because form does, to a certain degree, go out the, go out the window. Mm -hmm. Now, I'll, I'll be honest, Arsenal have gone there with much, much better teams and Tottenham with much worse teams, you know, when, when they was in the bottom half of the table and still got a result, right? So you can never take it for granted, but I, I, I can tell you this now, I'm looking forward more to going to this one than like when I've seen the previous previous games. And That's two, true. Two, yeah. two or three seasons ago, Interesting. two or three seasons ago at the old White Hart Lane, you know, we was lucky to get away, come out of a 2-0 defeat. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? That's how, that's how good Spurs were at that, that stage. Mm -hmm. So now, thankfully, it's turned a little bit and we've, we've got a good chance. The one thing that we, the, 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 our strength, Right, can be our weakness as well in this game because we will push on to the halfway line, we mm -hmm. will push right up. That leaves us on vulnerable to the counter attack. Yeah. Yeah. I don't care what anybody says, yeah. Tottenham are very, very good on the that's, counter attack. And Lee, that's fair enough, but then if you're saying that, and that's fair enough, no disrespect to Rob, you've got a different animal now in Gabriel and William. Because William has yeah, got Yeah, yeah, well, you know, that's the way we're going to play. Listen, <coughs> we're going we're gonna to go there, we're going to squeeze up and show off. Now, if Tottenham drop, which I think that they will do, that then will let our midfield players get on top. So we can still, there's, there's still ways to win oh, it, but we will be yeah. vulnerable to that counter We've got to stop, got to stop Harry Kane. We've got to stop him, man. You know what I mean? If you look, you look at Tottenham this season, he's the guy, he's scoring all the goals. You know, he's come out from the World Cup, he's continued scoring. Oh, I was at the World Cup. When he kicked that ball about, I couldn't believe it. Right, I was right behind the goal. He kicked that about ten yards over. I was like, "What? Mm. You never do that against us, right?" But he's no, the he one. He's the one. If you watch him in all the games, he's the danger guy. I mean, he can be. They ain't done nothing, and he just bang. He scores. So I think if we can shackle yeah. him up, you know, what I mean, and that's always really difficult. I think we have got a great chance in this game. You know, what I mean, um, we got a better team that's right now. Point. Right now, as it stands, that's a great that's point it. that Robbie makes because just just going on to that. Crystal Palace game, he hardly touched the ball. He yeah, then, I think he touched the ball for like then he's, then he's 25 minutes. It's a completely different well, game. So that's, <coughs> no, that's right. So he's got to be watched. But the thing is, you're right. I think Harry Kane is, is a big component of our attack. And granted, we haven't played the best this season. I'll, I'll give you that. So far, he's been the only component of the attack. He has been. Yeah. No, he's, I mean, he's, he's, been the only every year. He's, he's been the only consistent opponent because he's, because he's been playing every game and he's, been, and he's maintained his scoring. But we... Have also been robbed of Kulisewski yeah. for multiple yes. multiple hmm. weeks this season, and Listen, and, 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 and but he'll be back for that game, isn't he? No, exactly, and yeah. and, that's, and, that's, so. and I think because he's he's back in training now, so. Yeah. So well, listen, we were robbed I, of many players I, last I, season. No, no, I'm not so saying. I'm not, it is, man. No, no, no. But you said you said that Harry Kane is the danger man. 
Um, yes. That's, that's the that's the obvious thing. But you've got you've got to look out. You've got to look out for Kulisevsky. If you if if you Kulisevsky, if you watch, he hasn't played. He's back in training. So he has he had any match practice? He played against Brentford. Played against Brentford. Yeah, he'll be fit. I think he will be fit. And you're right. We do. We do have to watch out for him, but also remember you got to watch out for Saka. Yeah, right? I, I agree. I agree. We were talking about Spurs. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. The two most important people in that counter attack. Okay, Son to an extent. I know he's not having a great season, but still Son. Um, still got to be wary of him, man. Yeah, of course, yeah. got to be wary of him. But for me, I, I, I'm going <coughs> Kulisevsky and Kane because they've hardly actually played together this season. And if you look at last season, from when he came in, the difference he made, the, the difference of having a front three where it's balanced on each side is really important. I think if that is the front three we have, I would think that's that would be a potential issue for you. If, if we're looking at our Tottenham team as a whole, where are the issue? That's your own. We issue. are better defensively than much, much better. 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 Front three didn't play. It didn't didn't play against Newcastle. He He came on. He came on against Liverpool and he changed the game completely. Okay, like you know what I mean. So he was missing from. I think. Did he play in the in the derby? No, he didn't play. He's been out since. So the the game he played. The only big game he's played this season is Chelsea. Yeah. And to be fair, to be fair, he didn't play that well in the game. Because I think Kulibani did, didn't play against and Arsenal. He didn't play against no, Arsenal. Play. Yes, he did. He didn't play against Arsenal. Richarlison or okay. Kane? No, Kulisevsky. Uh, oh, Kulisevsky. Yeah. No, I didn't know. So he was he, injured. He's, he's been injured pretty much since October. He, he played against Brentford and was out again for Villa. Was out for Palace. And I guess he's expected to be back for thingy, but he's had a re- he's, he's been injured pretty yeah. much the whole season. No, I didn't know that. My um, my final the violins, though. <laughs> <laughs> Forget. I, I don't like this talk on injuries because because I don't use I don't use Kulisevsky's injury as a reason. No. That's for why we're like of course sounds it plays like a part. It. No, 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 no. But we, it's not sound like it. It's more cases. We're talking if we're talking about Spurs danger man. I didn't mention. Kulisevsky to say, oh, where was us? Because he's been injured. I mentioned him to say that if you're looking at players that can hurt yeah, Arsenal, can hurt it's, it's going to be... Yeah, yeah, you can. Listen, it's Harry Kane. It's going to be he's, Kulisevsky he's, as well. He's quality. Harry Kane's quality. Even Son, like you said, Lee, if we don't keep eyes on him, you know what I mean? I know he ain't had a great season, but I'm still very wary of him. Yeah, he's got to be wary of him as well. He can turn up on the day, you know what I mean? So and dive as well and cheat as well. I, <laughs> <laughs> no, that's true. That's what we have to be wary of as well. Him, don't you have to be wary of him, Kane diving, Romero as well. Because he should have got 11 yellow cards in the final, he didn't get one. Those are the ones you've got to be careful. And we hope that we have a strong referee and linesmen or linesmen who do their job, which they didn't do that quite last okay. season. All right. On that defeat, yeah, he was all right. my <laughs> final question. Does anyone think that defeat could be psychologically just a bit damaging for Arsenal? I mean, what? It comes, Why? It comes back up. Newcastle well, draw, Why? North London derby Why loss. Why should it be? We're five points clear. Moments. We're five points clear. Your last trip there. The unravelling begins. Your last trip there. Yeah, look where we are now. It didn't affect your season. It didn't affect us at the Emirates, did it? Yeah. It didn't affect us. Yeah, it didn't affect us at the Emirates. But maybe the fact that Tottenham always loses at the Emirates affected us. We always lose at the Emirates. You know the thing is, right? I wonder whether the two teams just can't handle each other. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, yeah. 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 no, yeah. 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 the trips. We 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 listen. You know the funny thing is, right? We could actually go into that game, and there are a lot of pressure because Man City played the day before. They beat United, right? They could be like two you points, know, two potentially points two beyond, points behind yeah. us yeah. if we yeah. lose that game. So we're going to be under a lot of pressure. But the one thing I would say about this team this season is we've handled pressure. The yeah. Most of the games we've gone into has been after those teams have played and we still manage. Sometimes that's even motivated us even more yeah. to say, yeah, we need to win this game. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So yeah. it's about handling, yeah, it's about handling the pressure because it's going to be a cauldron. You know what it's like mm-hmm. when you go there you know what I mean? They're right behind their team. Yeah. They're, it's vociferous. It's, you know, um, and I think last year we didn't handle the pressure. Rob Holding lost his head, got sent off. We were only 1-0 down. And right? so did the referee. Got, the game, no, but even, listen, regardless of... No, he, he was stupid, though. And so was and, the referee. And, and, and the thing about it is that we didn't handle the pressure that day. That, we actually well. fell apart under the pressure. But I think the mentality of the team this year... It's changed, yeah. Has changed. It's, yeah. it's a more stronger mentality. Mm-hmm. You know, you see even guys like Jacko. You know, Thomas was getting sent off practically every other week. 
he's not doing that now. He's, he's, you know what I mean? He's, they're he's, more disciplined. I think, yeah, they're I think. more disciplined. They're really playing for the manager. They're really playing for the um, the fans. And you know what? If we win this game this weekend, I start to get really confident that we could go all the way. If we go and we overcome this hurdle. So score predictions. We said two two one wins. Was that it? Yeah. yeah. And a two two. Do you want to? Yeah. Happy that. Yeah. Robbie. Two one to Arsenal. Two one to Arsenal. Hopefully right. two nil to us. Hopefully two nil. Mm -hmm. I would say that. <laughs> two, two one customary um, came dodgy penalty. Uh, but well, uh, he he the never. No, 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 no but, but I think that. Um, <laughs> yeah. I, I think that uh, I, I, I think that it'd be a tight, 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 tight game, but I just think we've just got a little bit more with us this season. A little bit more with us. All right. Well, everyone's back in their sides, as expected. All right, we'll leave it there. There are more Superfan debates coming out, all out already, so check them out. Guys, thank you so much for joining. Thank you. And uh, we'll catch you on the next one. Peace. Shop for AFTV merch at shop.aftv.co.uk. Subscribe to us on YouTube. Follow us on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, TikTok, Snapchat and Twitch. We've got content for every platform. So check it out.